डालस 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 क्या हाल है क्या हाल है क्या हाल है मैं हूँ आपका दोस्त आपका साथी डी जे मोडी ऑन फनेशन वीडियो वन ऑफ पॉइंट नाइन एफ एम ऑन अ लीडर्स जर्नी एंड प्रोड्यूस वैशाली ठक्कर दिस इज मोडी अख्तर एंड आई एम एक्साइटेड टू हैव आर स्पेशल गेस्ट टूडे सी ई ओ ऑफ बिस्क क्लाउड एक्सपर्ट्स एंड फील्ड मैनेजर मिस्टर नागेश कुम नैनी नागेश Kumnani has been working in DFW area for many many years and is here to talk about his journey on Fanesha Radio Mr Nagesh why don't you say your full name and introduce yourself to Fanesha listeners and uh, welcome to Fanesh Radio Thank you for the kind introduction uh, DJ I am Nagesh Kunam Neni I am the CEO and president of uh, Bis Cloud Experts um, an advanced AWS consulting firm we help companies um and uh, small and large businesses with uh, amazon web services any solutions that go on amazon web services we also are in the product business we've just launched a new product fields manager that uh, is uh, uh, probably one of the main topics that we're going to talk about today i'll let the suspense to dj modi here yeah. <laughs> so so nagesh uh, thank you for correcting the name and uh, firstly you know let's start with whenever people hear the name ceo and uh, amazon web services it's a lot involved there let's start with your background where did it all start so um i'll start with very early right um, i am from uh, hyderabad um, uh, currently in telangana uh, uh, india and uh, i bagunnara <laughs> bagunnara yes um chala bagunnamu so anyway uh that uh, to me i i i'm i'm a kid from a defense uh, my father is in the air force so strict uh, discipline in the home strict uh, uh, you know how to lead life that kind of stuff and i really today i owe a lot to him because at the end of the day um as much as i was a kid who always was on the cricket ground playing um at the end results mattered and he always held us accountable for what we did um going from there i did my engineering so uh, cricket ground you know i want to just talk a little bit about your maybe we are talking teens and young, young yeah. early childhood so cricket ground and schooling how mm. did you balance uh that was the toughest balance actually in that particular case it uh, the credit goes to my mom right um irrespective of when i I'll give you a simple story you know I, I'm sure a lot of you know uh, Vinayak Chavathi is big in Andhra side um and early in the morning we have to do the puja or we can't see the moon so there used to be a game and I used to just go off in the morning so mom would read the story at the end of the day just so that I don't see the moon that day but at the same time that also meant that she was making me do my homework at the end of the day she was making me prepared for the next uh, next day in school so net net I think the balance came not because of me it probably came because of them because they knew the passion that i had for what i was doing and at the same time they also knew that this guy needs to build a career so we need to get the balance going so from talking about career from cricket to studying where did you go to college once again we have a lot of mm. telugu and hyderabadi listeners and they love uh, fanesha radio and they love listening to me so thanks to all the telugu listeners of fanesha radio plus the all the south asian community so so why how it technology ceo mm. what was the journey there yeah so uh, that's a really long story but we'll try to break it into pieces um i did my engineering in warangal um kakatiya institute of technology and science a big shout out to all the kids guys in dallas um we are a bunch of we are a very well knit crowd i did my mechanical engineering there um whether it's college whether it is uh, high school i still was the captain of the college team i was the captain of the high school team so cricket has been all along uh, maybe kind of a little bit of a popular guy in school uh, because everybody was following the sport and led to other co curricular activities and leadership activities in college a lot of leadership was picked up because not just cricket um warangal is a very old uh, uh, is a town that has a heavy amount of uh, um, poverty driven or lower um, you know in the godavari river floods all the time so we used to organize nss camps we used to go to the where the floods were and we used to build houses and that kind of stuff that those activities actually led us uh, uh, led us to actually 
living with teams, running teams, and actually made made us more humble because, you know, as much as we loved playing cricket and studying in one of the best engineering colleges, it also showed us what we had more than the people who we were helping out. And so that balance um, actually kept on uh, me, kept, uh, kept in me to figure out how to keep on doing better for everybody else. Wow. So engineering, cricket, volunteer work. Here's one thing that I want to ask. As a cricket captain, mm -hmm. right, what are the three major responsibilities you took over your sh shoulder when you, before the game, after the game, within the game? So cricket... Um, I think has taught me more leadership lessons than anything else because it is not an individual sport it is a team sport there is always superstars and there are 11 players on the ground the toughest thing it has taught me is there will be four pe four guys on the ground who will be upset that they didn't get bowling or batting every time they go in and they just came home fielding but in India the competitiveness of being in the team is so much that they don't feel it but here and any place else it it really causes enough pain that you know you don't you're wasting four hours of your day and all you're doing is standing in the sun and coming home right and how do you keep people motivated in such kind of an environment and how do you actually balance the team out was that was one of the toughest things I learned as a leader because at the end of the day people wa you want people to play for you in the team and irrespective of what the position is irrespective of where they are and you don't balance that, you won't be able to balance your team at work, you won't be able to balance your team at home, you won't be able to balance your life. So that, uh, I can give you much more uh, depth than that, but that is one thing. The second thing is discipline, right? You got to show up on time, you have to warm up, otherwise you will, you will be dehydrated. The ability to, when a game is at eight o'clock, you have to be there at 7.30 to actually get into the game. You have a meeting in corporate, right? You better prepare. I came, Modi, uh, I came to this meeting. I spent four hours thinking through what is Modi going to ask me. That culture comes from the fact that you're actually researching what you want to do in the game, what you want to say, and those things really, really help you, right? And so as, as a sport, it's taught me, honestly, I've said this to any place I go, it's taught me more leadership skills than any classroom or even my MBA education that I did from UT Austin. That little wow. experience in... Uh, experience on the ground dealing with 11 players every day day in and day out how did they how did they trust you as a captain fairness and principles right there is simple simple stuff right you you have to have a set of principles not rules rules are uphold principles so when you have principles like be fair to everybody understand what the position is why we are doing what we are doing I think people get it and as long as you're not taking biased opinions here and there then people start respecting your opinion because you are a, you, you stand for the principles more than any specific uh, event. Because cricket pr provides million combinations. Any decision could be. In hindsight, anybody can say, hey, that guy should have opened, this guy should have been at the end, whatever. But that's all hindsight. But when you're on the ground, when you have to take a decision, you have to take a decision, you don't know whether that roll of dice works today or not. But you are making that based upon the ground conditions. Oh, so uh, quickly moving. Uh, so I totally love your cricket example and teamwork and trust and discipline it all goes together to be where you are today once again listeners of Fundation Radio we are talking to Mr. Nagesh Kumanani uh, President and CEO of BizCloud and ex BizCloud expert and fields manager uh, once again let's move to technology mm -hmm. right we talk cricket let's move why cricket here why fields manager so um, as we go into, uh, first of all, um, you know, when you think about it, I'll give you a few cases, right? Um, I play for a team. We, we've, we've played uh, for 20 years here locally, almost 2002. There was a team that we started in Flower Mound, Texas. Right? We didn't know all the leagues or anything like that. But six of us sat, were having a beer. We said we didn't want to play the game. We went and played where there is golf shooting, wow. right? And that team still plays every week, believe it or not, forget the leagues, forget anything. And I call that my alma mater of cricket in Dallas, right? For, I mean, think of a small group of friends still playing today after this many years. Wow. Then you go four years ago, we created a team called Just Want to Play Cricket. His name is Just, just want, want to Play Cricket. <laughs> just Want to Play Cricket. 
and we registered in a local league. Well, trying to get a practice ground was impossible. You had to beg, borrow, steal, ask 25 people before you can find a slot to play somewhere in the city. Now, current, I'll give you the same situation. Fast forward now, how many years? Almost 15, 20, 15, 20 years. There is a small community in Flowermont right now, Creekside. They want to play, right? Every Saturday morning. Everybody in the whole DFW <laughs> area wants to play cricket. Yeah, and they can't find a ground. There is places where we go today that, you know, people are playing just parking illegally and squatting on the grounds and they're being told to leave. We want to bring some structure. We really thank NTCA for allowing us this opportunity to work with them because at the end of the day, we are here for the little guy, right? Who, who, a father and a son. I mean, every time I go to a simple field called Tiger Field, a father and son will be wearing a, a nice helmet and hitting a baseball bat. Why can't a father and son get, do that for cricket? Why can't they go into Lake Louisville where there's a nice little cricket pitch and play? Right? Why, does, why do they have to take 100 people's permission to do that? Right? Those simple questions is why we are doing this. And, right. and NTCA, not uh, Texas Cricket Association, no. they're doing a tournament, and you are the title sponsor for it. Yes, sir. Uh, we are the. It title just reminded me of father and son, <laughs> right? Yeah. You're helping yeah. happen that yeah. tournament happen. Uh, I, we are really proud that uh, NTCA is doing this, and frankly, uh, Dallas Premier League brings best of the talent currently available in U.S. into the town. Games are happening in McKinney, in Carrollton, in Plano, right? And yesterday night, um, Unmuk Chand, who's one of the superstars who just moved from India to U.S., was playing in Russell Creek Park. Wow. And, and wh where did he reside in India? I don't okay. know. Okay. I think that's a question for Unmuk. <laughs> 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 okay. I'm guessing somewhere, but I really don't uh, follow. I follow cricket. I mean, I'm not a great follower of individual players. Sure. So, so, anyway. so. How is the tournament going and where is Fields manager going? So uh, as far as the tournament is growing, um, it's going great. In fact, uh, I think a lot of the community here is enjoying live feeds. That's also enabled by Fields manager. We looked at the opportunity. We understand COVID is around. We understand a lot of things. So for those people who are coming to the grounds, that's great. For those people who can enjoy the games, we are trying to stream as many games as possible. Uh, working with NTCA on on uh, on this, right? And some of the teams, um, you know, it's all team enabled. Teams teams call us and we help them enable that. But at the end of the day, I think the tournament is in a great shape. It's two weeks in. It's four more weeks left. It is it is headed. As far as Fields Manager is concerned, I think from our perspective, even if we can have five ten slots where you know, simple office manager can take his team out and have barbecue and play, right? If we can enable that kind of a cul that kind of simple scenarios through our fields manager product where you can go in Friday afternoon, you want to take your team out, uh, do a barbecue, do some beer and play cricket, come to our platform, pick a field that may, we'll try to make it available. If there is no field available, send us a request, pick a field that you want to play in, we'll try to work with the individual club, individual league, individual city to see if we can make that available for you it is that simple so so once again uh, dallas this is a financial video fields manager is helping the community so when you talked about office right after office hours it's even birthday parties right but it goes everywhere it right goes everywhere. teens birthday party kids we i would love to play cricket mm -hmm. at my son's birthday party right because we can get every sometimes we don't know what to do yeah so it, it's a great way, way to collaborate and have fun right before the show our captain, Vivek Rai, he runs the Just Want to Play Cricket. His son's third birthday party is today, right now happening in McKinney's Park, in a park in uh, Frisco, on Pavilion 2. Wow. So you, you, you fields manager did it. No, 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 no. We didn't do it. <laughs> no, I I'm just saying they're reserving the No, no, no. We did, we okay. did, no, no. Let, let me finish this. My thing was, if Vivek had a choice, I bet you he would have had it on a cricket ground barbecuing where his son and all of us were also playing with him he wouldn't have to do that in that pavilion mm -hmm. right then that's the vision right i mean i'm trying to say that the vision is when you want to do something like that right that's what we are trying to help with leagues are there for competitiveness and build the sport where these little kids aspire to go play 
but to get there they need a place to practice they need they don't need to drive to Houston they don't need to go in and pay 100 bucks 200 bucks just to practice for two hours they need to be able to go out and play properly and that's what we are trying to enable amazing amazing so once again helping the community play cricket or book fields so Nagesh tell us you know being a CEO and being running fields manager what is one challenge you had um, so uh, can you repeat the question I challenge think. one challenge I had with fields manager right honestly you can only help people when people are willing to share their asset in a way that's helping the community currently these assets are locked locked in a way that they're not available if you try to book a ground right now you will be sent to 14 different places before you can even figure out who actually controls that ground right we working with NTCA are trying to solve if we solve that problem I think the game becomes open for everybody the game becomes more palatable for the guy who doesn't want to really play competitive he's 40 you know think about me I still play cricket but what you know I would rather play friendly cricket with my neighborhood friends than go try to prove myself in a major league tournament or whatever that is right so my take is that I think for the leagues to flourish that kind of cricket should happen for that kind of cricket should happen leagues cities everybody should be able to open grounds and keep them reserved for people who want to come in and play lovely so once again thank you Ijaz ul -Haq from uh, NTCA for partnering with fields manager and making it such a success and Vishali Tucker producing this leader's journey and I'm Moody Akhtar I have Nagesh here Nagesh one more question I have hmm. is uh, what is your message for the youth today right we have teens we have youth we have people even immigrants who have come like you and aspiring to become leaders um, I think the first and foremost build a passion once you have a passion you will create a plan and once you have a plan you have to persevere because no plan goes the way you think it will go hey if I had my way fields manager would have been done 20 years ago but my plan didn't work but it's today life it's just perseverance with the concepts that you believe in it and you start working and figuring out how to make it work even this cloud experts for that matter of the fact right um, it is it is the is these three things right passion planning and perseverance if you can start building that early in your career I think there is nothing that can stop you right I think that is that is the secret to any success irrespective of what it is it could be painting it could be playing cricket it could be becoming the next astronaut but those three things the three p's yep. the three p's passion planning and perseverance. perseverance so how do you balance it you know I'm sure coming from you know technology comfort so, work life to becoming a CEO yes yeah, so I think uh, that is a hard question for me too honestly I don't have a good answer for you because everybody around me calls me a workaholic and I wake up at 7 o'clock and I'm most days back home around 10 30 11 12 it doesn't matter what what it is I don't prescribe that kind of a life uh, but sometimes when you get passionate about things you forget the time you forget the energy it just uh, DPL we're working with it last five days we've not reached home till two o'clock and the day starts again at 6 a.m. in the morning right um, I think so from my perspective that's a very hard challenge I think people have to balance it out and I think choosing life partners in such a way that you know as long as you're able to look into their eye and say this is why I did it and be honest with it I think they will understand too that it is not just about me or it is not about that you're able to get the pain and you're trying to really solve problems then I think a lot of people around you will support you including your uh, uh, best partner life partner in my case Brahmara she is uh, she's everything and she without her I think I would have been in a financial burden debt and whatnot I mean right from marriage we had 50k of debt and somehow we got to clear it and today we I'm sitting here in front of you as a CEO a lot of it goes um, with the support of a person like that it's a team it's a one team. plus one is one eleven yeah. so any a uh, anybody who inspired you growing up or um, as usual I started talking to you um, with my parents right I mean the examples I gave you is how did I balance it 
that's a cookie cutter answer but each time in a life there has been a different person who came in and gave me that advice my first job my boss uh, uh, Scott Anderson. Wow, you're right. lucky to have your first boss <laughs> right. as one of your. Um, yeah. yeah, he says, Nagesh, you eliminate yourself from the job you're doing. Good companies will let you grow. Bad companies will fire you. Either case, you are the winner. Right? There are anecdotals. Contextually, I'm really grateful for my life because whenever I was in a tough situation, there was somebody who stepped in. There's another guy. Ken Stevens uh, he was my boss in Xerox i mean every day he used to yell at me but at the end of the day he made me a better person right and uh, i can i can go so and listen so how d- just sticking to that how do you take that as this will help me because many of us think our peers or bosses are pushing mm-hmm. and we take it more you know i'm in trouble yeah so i think uh, the basic thing is that uh, if you come into work every day morning and you know that the guy about you is fighting for your success then you will start looking into your own things as what did you do what did you do why is he mad at you at for whatever that that item is and if you start correcting yourself because at the end of the day if you believe he is for your failure you should not be working there if you believe he is for your success then figure out why he is getting mad what is it that's motivating what is it deflating for the company you will grow faster you will let the company grow faster right that's how i look at it very great answer so nagesh any uh, funny story you have for the listeners of funisha anything from the fields manager creation to playing cricket to home to india this one is a uh, everybody around me says that um, it's very hard i keep Uh, I keep a very serious face. Uh, yeah, there are there are funny stories all around me every day morning when I enter the cricket ground. Th- people look at me and go, "He's 52 years old and he is coming into the ground." Uh, and the aura that you're trying to play itself is a little bit, you know, people are just coming out of college and playing, and they see you on the ground. Um, fr- every day that i i just go home and say hey maybe some day in life you'll be playing here right um beyond that i don't know okay <laughs> so so nagesh anything on fields manager you want to talk uh, tell the listeners about again i'm sure many people are tuning in now mm-hmm. any you know why should they download it's it's very simple right from my perspective um if you are a team that is 30 or 40 people want to go out and play you are a league playing team looking for some practice slots and practice grounds you should go look at that if you are uh, if if you are a family trying to organize a family picnic bunch of fam- people coming for thanksgiving want to take your family to the lake or whatever ground and play a game with your family do it i mean these days you're even seeing weddings where in you know bride versus groom teams are, are possible are you serious <laughs> this is like, the first time yeah. i'm hearing that so you 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 have concepts coming up where uh, those kinds of extreme concepts where and you're doing uh, weddings in such a way that there are some passionate and if both bride and groom are really up to it hey you know uh, cricket marriages are happening maybe there's a team with bride versus groom's team and you want a ground come to us um recently we helped a small company conduct college cricket league and thanks to ntca uh, helping us grounds they actually had 14 colleges come in and play cricket here locally and we were able to help help with that every day we go just this week for the, all the dpl teams we put out the streaming service in 48 hours so that the dpl teams can take advantage of it and we are now streaming games so we are i am really proud of the tech team that supports me i just give them a challenge and in 20 hours 30 hours they'll come up with a solution they'll run to best buy they'll go to this and that and we make things happen. and kiran is i'm sure one of them <laughs> kiran is my right hand man in terms of making things work and in fact i think uh, some day in life ijaz and uh, anwar will put him on a no call list <laughs> it's just the number of calls he's making <laughs> but again um, we are one team we are one family at the end of the day we live um, we 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 are here to uphold the community and we are also here to make sure that uh, we are making a difference in our lives and lives we touch upon once again nagesh thank you for on behalf of vishali thakur and me thank you for coming to the studios of anish radio live we have few seconds any departing message for the listeners of anish radio um 
actually the message is to you DJ Modi you have been um, a great support to us from the day we met um, I really thank you for the opportunity to have this conversation with us and uh, I think one other thing um, I was talking to Tony Singh um, he is having October Diwali this is the first time a city is celebrating Diwali on the lake